That's it. Self-esteem. 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 Oh, my gosh. And I feel like in my attempt to encourage and, you know, push them, I think that I failed because they don't. Well, here's good news. Here's the good news. The good news. In the same way that you kind of had this awakening, no more, like, Lana, out of this call, which obviously your questions got answered, so now we're just riffing. Listen to me. Don't dwell. Just do. Right. No dwelling. Just do it. Okay. It doesn't matter how you did it in the past. Right. You have your whole life and their whole life to change right. the words that come out of your mouth. You can right. start now. It's right. not too late. It's just uh-huh. not. Yeah. Well, and and thank you because I, I try, I'm trying to do that and not, you know, live on the past because I've got a lot of crap in the past I can live in. I'm not, it's, I, cle- it's clear I'm to me, which is why, which is why I'm like trying to pound into your head. Listen to me. It just doesn't matter. There is no changing that. There's no fucking time machines. Right. Gives a shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. it, it, you know, and, and people want to dwell because dwelling is similar to should. It's an excuse not to do. You understand? You know, yeah. stay, staying in that, well, I fucked it. Like, it just, it's an excuse not to do. And the fact that you fucking ran right. this yeah. marathon... You need to do the, you did the physical version of it. Now you yes. need to do the emotional version of it every single day. Sure. I can do that. Um, so I, I have, you know, a, a lot of ideas and I actually started writing them down because it makes me so crazy. And I can can't. you do me, can you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Can you put it on a dart board and throw a dart or, or, <laughs> or, or just close your eyes and poke a pen to one of them and just do it? I'm going to, I'm, and I appreciate you when one of the messages you told people to answer, yes, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's exactly what my question was. And and I'm just going to pick one. And I'm pick one. Lana, Lana, just pick one. And then after four months, if you don't like it, you didn't waste time. You learned well, that you didn't like it. And right. then you go to the next thing on the list. Exactly. And I'm sure you know, I'll, I'll learn a lot as I go. So, All right, Lana, thank, thank you, you so much. Everything. Have a great day. Take, Take care. care. All right, Destin. Live. Two years. That's what I told you last night. I know. I told you. You didn't hear me last night? You, you, yeah. Jim. Hey. How are you? I'm good. What's, What's going on? Ep- What's going on is you have a tremendous setup behind you. I'm very impressed, sir. Yeah, I have... Uh... Bunch of stuff I going it. on. I see it. Where are, <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Long Island, Smithtown. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where can I start? So many amazing people went. on this show yesterday. Tom, today, Maritza. Um, so much. We're building, we're building a little community here, right? We've got like a little. Yeah, team. and I feel like I got a lot of answers. Um, Good. Out that's of, okay. Out of all the other... So so why don't we do this, which makes sense. Why don't we do this? Because a lot of, to your point, a lot of things have common themes. Let's let's do this because I think this is really fun. What would you like to happen? Like, what are you doing? And what would you, what, what do you think as of this second, theoretically would make you happy, whether in your soul or professionally? Like, how are you thinking about that? That's a good starting point. Yeah. Um, so I do this live interview show, Smithtown Live. I'd like to get you know, more involved with that, but then that takes away from my real estate business. So uh, that's, that's my big question is, well, let's talk about that. That's a great question is you're about to help a lot of people, Jim. So there's Smithtown live, which is your side hustle, your hobby that probably in the back of your mind, if you can get enough advertisers, enough viewers, you'd love to do full time. Cause you fucking love it. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the real estate business, which pays the bills and is a real business. Yep. My so you'd like to have more time for Smithtown Live because the real estate takes up time. And it's obviously the Smithtown Live is the thing you love. Makes sense, right? So mm-hmm. the biggest question I have, and a lot of people live in this scenario, is what – give me a typical day pre-corona. How many hours on a Monday through Friday or the week, however you want to position it, would you spend on, on real estate? Tell me the truth. Don't bullshit me. How many hours? The, for, the, for the Real estate. For the week, probably 16. Uh, per day, per day. Per yeah, day. or the, or or the week, however you want to do a typical day. Typical day, eight ten hours. Love you know, that. That's hard. Between, yeah, that's 
between prospecting and yeah, you know, really advertising works. and it's webinars really and what what takes up time between besides town live and the work? Um, <laughs> my losing track <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and and signing up for webinars and, and you know I I get lost really quick. You know I can watch two hours of Gary V and then. You know, I'm like, oh crap! I got to go and do that right there. You know, I, <laughs> do you, you enjoy learning? You enjoy oh, that yeah. process? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I absorb. I go on YouTube in the middle of the night. I, you know, yeah. Yeah, I get it. So, so with how is Smithtown Live doing? Is it a podcast? Is it a YouTube show? Yeah. What is it? You know, what it's it started out to be um, live, live local interviews. They were pre-recorded, and then I put them out as a um, a know, live. Alive, yeah, smart. I like that. Okay, um, and but then that's how many a, have you done? Uh, probably a little over 20, 25. That's so now I'm turning them into Zoom calls. I'm calling all the local businesses that want to the that. chamber and love saying, that. "Hey, let's go live." I'm doing one tonight, um, and I'm going to com- kind of combine into a like a trivia are, show with a pizza. Are restaurant. you? I love that. Are you? Are you doing this as a hobby because you love your local town, or is there a part of you that hopes that all the local businesses kind of find a way to give you five hundred to a thousand a month as a sponsor, and this becomes your business? Um, you know, I'm not really looking for sponsorship. It, for me, it was it was more I wanted to do it for my town, and, and, and then that brings and, awareness to you, and it brings for, it, it yeah, amps so, up my so exposure. What, was that something that you'd have heard from me three years? Because I'm a big yeah. fan of this thesis. Great, yeah, yeah, well, listen. Yeah, yeah. But listen, then I'm thrilled because to your point, I was kind of hoping you would go there like, brother, make 2200. I want the principal. I want the mayor. I want every single fucking business. I want parents. I want the high school coach. Like, just pay them. Yeah. So now that's been a, that's been a little bit of an obstacle as I go to businesses and, and they're like, they, they always think I'm coming in with a ploy. Don't tell them you're not. Tell them. I, and I do. I go, it's, there's, there's no charge to you. You know, it's so very that, hard so, to. Uh, well, good, good news. Then go to the next one. Yeah. You haven't asked every business. You haven't asked every local official. You I, haven't asked every. You just have it. Well, on or try to convince somebody. Don't convince anybody. Just ask the next person. Jim, one of the biggest reasons a lot of people really struggle with sales is they put so much energy convincing someone instead of realizing just go to the next person. Okay. No convincing. Just jumping to the next opportunity. Yeah. Because let me promise you, when this starts getting going, then the ice cream shop's going to be saying, shit, why did the tire store and the florist and the therapist get this? And I didn't. I got to call back that guy. What's his name again? James, Johnny. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Got it? Yeah. So um, what was the second? So how do so how do you parlay the, the real estate? and the Smithtown Live together. I know, like, you threw up your little text for wine yesterday, but I'm, I'm trying to keep them separate. I think one- separate's going to work. I think you post them on Google, you post them on YouTube, you post you put the show everywhere. Yeah. That, that's going to index on search, and inevitably you're going to make one video that people don't understand. It's about 800 videos that do nothing for you, and then one video with a dentist that for some reason populates to the top of Google search, right? Okay. And all of a sudden, when people are thinking about this town to move to it, they see this video of you. They real, you know, you, you end it with, you know, this is Jim Hayden and, you know, I'm a real estate agent in this wonderful town and you've been listening to Smithtown Live. And they're like, wait a minute, he's a real estate agent. And away you go. That's why I like principals and superintendents and teachers because school districts are a big part of people deciding. So if they, if, if you're the one who interviewed all the teachers and all the coaches and all the principals, you've got a real shot of showing up somewhere on their search and their homework, which then leads to trust, which then leads to you being their real estate agent. Okay. Got it? Okay. Yeah. That's what you got to do. Can I, uh, another question is real quick. Yeah. I get, go ahead. So the, this whole Corona thing, like, you know, everybody's, how do I motivate other agents around me and, and myself? You know, I just came ah, there you go. Action. And myself, 
No, I just came from, um, you know, I took a couple of months off. My brother passed away. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um, Now I'm back. And then all of a sudden this Corona thing happens. Brother, honestly, Jim, you you know what you and I have the pleasure of? We've lived life a little bit, right? We're not 20, right? You've lived life. You know that this is part of the game, unfortunately. I mean, that is – listen – I'm talking like a big shot. I don't know. It, it might take me years to recover from a sibling's death. Like I, I can't even like, I can't even like project that pain. Um, hey, don't beat yourself up if you're not motivated yet because maybe you're not done, you know, mourning, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the corona thing is the corona thing. Like, guess what? It's better than the black plague. Guess what? It's better than World War II. So like, you know, like that just, you, that's just something that happens. This is a time to be grateful for your health and the other people that you love be grateful for the opportunity. And I would just go ham on content creation, but not try to convince just, just there's plenty of teachers right now willing to talk about how they're getting through Corona, how they like the town, their career. Everybody wants a little bit. Most people want a little bit of fame. And so if you yeah. ask to have them on the show, you'll do quite well. Just pile into your passion, which is, this, you know, using Smithtown to build up the real estate thing. It will work. You just have to put out the content. Brother, I put out fucking years of wine yeah, content. Yeah, I know. I've been watching Every, you. My, I mean, my brother uh, knew you from way, way back in the day. So I'm actually going to send you his book. He just finished please, writing his book before he passed away. Please, please do that. Right send an email to – I love that. I, I'd like to honor him by checking out that book. So Gary yeah. at VaynerMedia, uh, good luck, Jim. Put out the content. Don't convince. Just do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Take care. All right, Dustin. Let's keep it going. A lot of emotions here on uh, Team with Gary V this day. Okay. The wellness habit. Thank you. Thank you so much for signing up. Levi the cloud guy. What's going, Gary? What's good, Robert? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Sorry I'm uh, driving to work right now, but I've been listening to you all morning. Beautiful, bro. Just keep your eyes on the road. You talk. I'll listen. All right, all right, all right. All right, uh, so, uh, I mean, I guess uh, I know you're on a roll here, so I'm, uh, I'm going to try to keep it going. Um, I know uh, my heart's already beating fast, man. I never did nothing like this. Um, from my question, this is already killing me because I don't do well with uh, public view. Um, and it's kind of – so I guess it's making it easier for me to keep my eyes on the road and not make eye contact. Even better, even stuttering. better. Good. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not stuttering and saying anything stupid. Um, there is no stupid. First- Robert. Robert, there is no stupid, bro. There's just the shit that's on your mind. I, I really wish people realized that. There is no stupid. There's no smart or stupid question on some real shit. There's just Robert living his fucking life and has a random thought. Get that fucking stupid. Get that thought out of your, like, let me cut that shit out of your mind right now forever. There is no fucking stupid. There's just you. There's just me. There's just Dustin. There's just Jim. Like, fuck that shit. Who? Who gets to say something stupid? Fuck that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, and I know one of the first things you're probably going to tell me is that I'm, I'm too young to worry about this shit, but one of the things I struggle with most right now, man, and I'm 27 years old, um, I got three beautiful kids and a beautiful wife, and I struggle with trying to make life in my eyes worthy for them and for my children in the future. I love that. So I first don't. of all, let me give you some good news. The fact that you even care about that means that you're going to make it worthy. I think Robert might be going through a patch driving. Damn. Um, oh, I think he's back. Ro- right. Robert. Yep, I'm here. So, Robert, the fact that you even care about that means that you're going to make it worthy. Bro, do not make this about anything other than giving love with the proper intent. It's as simple as that. Like, like you're, you're going to make it worthy by actually caring to make it worthy and loving. The end. It's not going to be worthy because of stuff. It's not going to be worthy because of professional accomplishment. It's going to be worthy because you fucking loved. Right. Right. You're absolutely uh, right. Like what? You're going to like worthy because you got a bigger house? Worthy because you put an extra zero in the bank account? What's worthy? Worthy is about you loving those fuckers and putting self-esteem in them. Yeah. I just want them to know that there's something more to them what I can offer them as far as what I have to offer. I want them to know that the world is theirs. They can take it, take it back and do whatever they want. Robert, just pump that shit into their head. Pump it. Pump it. 24-7 love opportunity you can. 
Bro, people don't look at their parents based on their professional or financial accomplishments. They look at them based on what they put in their fucking dome. 100%. I know, bro. Right. I meet I meet people all the time that have gone on to have happy, successful lives that came from parents that had crazy humble beginnings because their parents made them believe. And it wasn't and and kids aren't going to come at their parents and like, "Well, why didn't you?" And you're going to say, "Here were my circumstances. Here's what happened." You keep it real as fuck, but you tell them, "But that was my circumstances. Your circumstances, you got me, and I'm going to fucking take you to the top mentally." Right. See, and that's the kind of person I am, too. I'm always, I've always been uh, raised that way. I mean, for, you know, a, a little differently. You know, my dad wasn't very, uh, he wasn't a person for words. He was very physical with me. Um, yep. So for somebody like that, I grew up, it kind of forced me into this kind of a show. So yep. another part of my question was, I always, I was always somewhat of a class clown. You know what I mean? I was yep. that kid. I was that performer. But now yep. as I'm older and uh, now we're in this world of producing content, <clears throat> excuse me, and putting stuff on social media, I always find myself at that block, like where I can't do it because I feel that rain of judgment just, just yep. flashing down on me. Like, you're not funny. You're not this. You can't do yep. that. You're not funny enough. You don't look good. Look at this guy with the scruffy beard and the mustache. I like the you scruffy. Can't even grow one. You know, I, I like it. I, years old, I can barely grow a beard. <laughs> yo, bro, first of all, the scruff looks good. You're, I'm weirdly attracted <laughs> you. to you. So you're be- plenty beautiful. <laughs> don't worry about that. Listen to me. <laughs> Your dad, your aunt, nobody gets to decide besides the market. You need to get on TikTok, make some funny shit, try your best. The market gets to decide. There is no human that gets to decide. The market, aka the world. Get up, listen to me. Get crazy about TikTok. TikTok is the place for funny. TikTok's a safe place right now. It's very nice because it's early. Just Twitter was nice at first. Instagram was nice at first. That's how they all work. Facebook mm-hmm. is like, it's, it's nice right now and it's about funny. You need to go in there and try. Bro, you're 27, bro. You're a fucking kid. Bro, I you're know, a fucking see, kid, I know, bro. I know you're, you're going to say that. <laughs> and, you know me then. Like you, cause yep. it's the truth, I'll, I'll bro. For a while. Yeah. You're, it's the truth. You're a fucking kid. Love your children. Make them feel the opposite of what your dad made you feel. They'll learn that that was your story and they're going to be grateful for what you did for them. And then that's one chapter. And then on the other side, go make funny shit. And when your friend or your uncle or somebody says, what the fuck are you wasting your time for? You look them dead in the face and you tell me, you worry about you. You worry about you. Fuck you. You worry about you. Right. Like every time somebody's come at me hard growing up or in life, like, why are you doing this? I go right at them like a fucking gangster. I'm like, why are you drinking at night when nobody's paying attention? You know, like, c- come at them. Listen, every, you know what I mean? Fuck them. Go into a cocoon. You've heard me say that if you know who I am. Get quiet. Yeah. Love your kids. Make them feel they can do anything in the world. But don't be delusional. Don't tell them they can dunk if they're only going to be 5'7". You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, that should be taller. I'm 6'2", so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm going macro, bro. Not literally, though. But nonetheless, <laughs> no. listen to me. Listen to me. Build self-esteem in them, which is unfortunately not what you were fortunate in getting, and then go make funny shit on TikTok. That is the fucking prescription that I'm giving you, Robert. Uh, Yeah, you're right. You're right. I actually do. I I have a TikTok account, and I made a couple of videos. I'm proud of you. Let's go. Those are all the most organic views, man. I've made some weird, dumb videos, and I'm like, how did I get over 600 views on that? But on this, I didn't get anything. Don't think. Listen to me. Don't think for six months. No thinking. No thinking, no valuing how many views, how many followers, no numbers, no thinking. Make, 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 make. Every little awesome creative thing running through your beautiful brain, make, make, make. Got it? Okay. Got it. All right. right. Take care of yourself. Peace, Gary. Thank you, man. Peace. Got you. All right. Get into a little bit of roll here. Now I'm feeling it. Uh, Up next, we're going to have Celeste. Celeste. I love it. All right. All right, Shen. Shen's a loon. You got it. You asked me, I'm your 16th fucking follower. Big ups to Costa Rica. Celeste. Hey, what's up? <laughs> How are things? Good. I, um, I'm just, I work out of my home, so everything's kind of 
the same inside. It just feels really weird and ominous outside. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just wanted to uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to be on here and for everything that you're doing and how many people you help just daily. Um, so, so I own a small business I have for five years. Um, and so I know w- without risking, um, I guess seeming insensitive, um, with everything that's going on, um, my, I guess what I would want to know from like your perspective is like, what is the positive, like, what is the most positive thing that's going to come out of this? Cause like, I, you know, I know for me, you know, I, I, I definitely feel impacted, um, my business feels impacted and it's a little bit uncertain and a little scary. Um, you know, moving forward, it's, that's how I pay my bills. And, you know, it's been a really like rough five years with, you know, like the, this trough of sorrow with owning your own business. And, um, so I, I'm, but I'm, I'm finding like a lot of like inspiration in, um, trying to like be of service in any way, like, because I don't have kids that aren't in daycare. I don't have kids that I have to homeschool. Like, I'm not that, like I'm impacted obviously, but I'm not like suffering. And so I'm, I see it as like an opportunity to like reevaluate so last, real quick, real quick. So you don't put guilt on you because I appreciate the energy you're coming with. Not like a, like a shocking amount of people aren't right. an extraordinary amount of people are loving this vacation because they're right. getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> an extraordinary amount of people don't have responsibilities An extraordinary amount of people's businesses are thriving because they sell food on the internet and people are buying more. So yeah. a, a don't worry about, don't beat yourself up for worrying about you and potentially even seeing opportunity. That's okay. You're supposed to worry about you. Right. And you can have compassion and sympathy and empathy for others. I see nothing but opportunity for four hours. And then I go on for 15 minutes with my admin and we send a bunch of masks to hospitals because I can afford it. And if you can't, that's also fine. You just saying prayers and calling people and checking in. You going to your phone right now and texting five people that used to be friends or acquaintances of yours that you haven't talked to in four years and just saying, hey, taking advantage of this time to like see how you're doing and just sending a little love and showing that you care, that's powerful. So don't beat yourself up, A. Let's start there. Okay. Right. okay? And I, I mean, and it's, it's tough because it's like I do, you know, when you do something that is not – for like just the benefit of you or your business or whatever, like, um, you know, you do feel good. So, um, you know, it's hard, it's hard to exactly what you're saying, not feel guilt in a lot of ways that you're not like, you know, super. I, I listened to the things I was saying and I saved money, which allowed me to do nice things like I'm doing right now for hospitals and workers and different things and employees and all the things I'm doing. Other people either were silly and bought dumb shit or just never went to a place where they had too much college debt or something horrible happened. They didn't save. And so, what, what, but they want to do something good. They can do positive things. I'm telling you, texting old friends and saying hello and ca- thinking about you and caring about you is a great deed. And putting out good karma into the universe is a great deed. So everybody can do stuff. So we've, we've, we've put that on the side. What can I help you with for you? So thanks. Um, so I guess like I, having said all that and kind of realizing that there is a lot of opportunity despite like the crisis. Um, that everyone's kind of facing is like, uh, so f- for me, like I've noticed, um, so I'm a small business and I, I, um, you know, I, I'm very supportive of other, my, like my friends and just people that I know that are customers of mine that also have small businesses. Like I've been encouraging, um, like people to go and tag their small business or one that they love or their friends, like on my page. And like I've been, you'll, doing- you'll appreciate this guilting slash inspiring is not something that's going to do overwhelmingly well. Right. You know, that, that, by the way, that's not to discourage you because you're doing a wonderful act. I just want to give you the mindset of humans right now. Like I'm watching all these people like support your small business. And then I am watching and reading and paying attention and people are like, that's cool, but I don't want to fucking buy, you know, a, a pizza right now. I'm fucking scared shitless about right. like my business, my job. You know what I mean? Like, so just yeah. keep that in mind. It's almost like, you know, just keep that in mind. So, and that's like the thin line that I'm, I'm walking. So my, my business is like, I design and I um, sell women's athletic, like athleisure apparel. And um, so I just re like, I rebranded at the end of last year and I used to just be like a regular e com store. And so now I do limited edition uh, releases. So the, you know, the concept, it allows me to be able to design 
and be Let me ask you a question. Can you afford to do a drop where you give the profits to, you know, uh, nurses and, and doctors? Um, I don't think I can afford to do some of it. Yeah. 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 I would, I would, I would design something right now that incorporates like maybe, you know, like the, the, I guess the red cross, you know, like the, you know, like, like incorporates that whole movement. I bet you that could be some sort of viral moment and could really build awareness for you. You survive your, your overhead and rent and all that. You feel amazing because you've given a, a, a donation to your local hospital, right? Cause even if it's a $500, you buy $500 of worth of masks and you donate. Giving is what you can afford to give. I used to give $9 and now I don't, I give more, you know, like, you know, it's, yeah. you know, it changes. Um, and it's also a thing that can build brand for you because people appreciate that you're stepping up, which then may lead to business when we get out of here. So that might be a model to think about, especially if you made the app leisure design as a pre-sale limited edition drop that incorporated what's going on right now. Maybe a mask set, right. maybe the, you know, you see where I'm going? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's like such a dope idea. And, and that's like kind of what I was looking for. Something to like, be, you know, get behind without it being insensitive. Well, so that's, or, like, that's, or- that, that's what T with Gary V is fucking all about. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's, you know, it, it's, it's how I live. I live in the, in the macro, the clouds, the mindset, and then in the dirt, right? The tactics. I, and right. I play back and forth. Some of this stuff, as you've been watching, is for people here. Uh, for you right now, I'm super pumped because that's a real tactic that's going to fucking work. And, and that's going to work. And God forbid, AK God willing, somebody in news is going to see that local news thing and have you on a Zoom and talk about why you did it. Like, there's something really big on this idea. I hope you do it ASAP. Fuck yeah. Thank you so much. That's so dope. You're welcome, I appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks. All right, Dustin. Showing my chops here, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Christina coming up next. Hi, Hi Christina. Hi. How are you? Good. There we go. Okay, I wanted to make sure I had it set up right. <laughs> you have it set up right. Let's go. So, hey, so first I want to just um, give a just give big love to people out there that are going through a tough time right now. Um, I have two people very special in my life that are going through some different things. My brother is a captain in the army who just retired. His ceremony has been canceled naturally. Um, also, my best friend Kristen down in South Florida lost her dad at the beginning of the month. Had to cancel the celebration of life ceremony. I was actually supposed to fly and I got sick myself, couldn't go. So I, I, my heart beats for everybody that is, um, dealing with things like that. I feel very fortunate that we, knock on wood, haven't had anything tragic like that happen. Um, my high schooler is not a senior, but what's kind of cool is the things I've been seeing from seniors, they're taking it well. You know, they're having fun with it and just really making the best of it. That's what you gotta do. Hundred percent. I mean, listen, it's devastating to lose your prom and your graduation, but this is a real pandemic. I mean, we're going to start seeing two thousand people, three thousand people a day dying. And we need to have perspective, like, and we need to innovate. Like, I can't wait to see the first, you know, high school do an entire prom on Zoom. Like, yeah. there's so much fun shit you can do. So, innovation comes from adversity, and I think we'll see a lot of cool shit, Christina. Couldn't agree more. What's cooking? What can I help you with? So, so my question to you was, um, how do you have any advice on balance? I mean, I've heard you talk about it before. Um, I struggle with it personally. I, I don't know if you can see how long. Let me see. There's my cat. So cute. So you cute. guys might know that my cat is an internet cat on Instagram. Um, I do struggle though with keeping up with everything that, you know, that entails keeping engaged with the fans and the emails back and forth. With can I, can I give you, can I, can I give you a quick prescription that yeah. you're going to love? Yes. Christina, it's, you are keeping up with it. You're just judging yourself. I am, but I feel like, because I always feel like I can do more. I feel like I'm falling mm-hmm. short. I don't, I feel like because I you're judging yourself. Enough. <laughs> you're, ju- you're judging I do, yourself. But that's my middle name. I judge myself all the time. I'm very self-conscious. Well, well, I have great news. It's the number one fucking thing we have to figure out because yeah. it, it's poison. Yeah. 
And it is fun. something I struggle with heavily. And I've grown over the years. I've learned to shake a lot off my shoulders. Have, and I, I can even feel it in your energy. And that makes me happy. I just want yeah. to cut more that cancer out of your body. I'm being dead serious with you. Like what? Yeah. Eight, what? Like it's a never ending game. So you replied to 18 people on average in the past. And now you got inspired yeah. to TKRB. Now you're doing 33. Well, why not 47? You know, you're posting yeah. two times a day on TikTok. You know, all of a sudden you go to, you know, seven and why not eight? Like yeah. you have to understand judgment's a fucking forever game. It's a bad yeah. game. Yeah, I guess it's it's hard sometimes to deal with the guilt from fans who don't understand, you know, that what we do is just so, so consuming. And I mean, I when this all first started, when when she went viral and became famous, I was up till three, four o'clock in the morning. I've heard you tell Christina, that before, Christina, too. <laughs> Christina, I have I have five to 15,000 DMs and texts a day yeah, sure. yeah. in there, in there four people write things like this is my last text before I take my life. If you do not help me, Gary, I will take my life. Do you understand what level of potential guilt I have on a daily basis? I do. I, and, and what you have to do is put that into a place of like, you're just a human being. I'm trying the best I can. I'm trying the best you can. First of all, it's fucking famous cat life. Like we're so lucky. Like let's, let's, let's. And that sounds it. so weird. That sounds so weird. It doesn't, no, it doesn't sound weird. In the same way that if a senior went on right now with me and was yeah. crying that they couldn't do their prom and it, that's their life. That's their life. And your yeah. life is that. So I don't judge that, but you have to stop judging yourself. You're doing the best you can. Yeah. And I mean, I have said that. I told my husband that before. There's only so much I can do. And and, you yeah, that period. Example. Period. Yeah. Period. And every time you beat yourself up, say, oh, my God, Gary V. let six people kill themselves today. And I mean that. <laughs> no, I and, see and, and, you know, yeah. and, and listen, my hope and dream is that 99.9999% of them are, are, are writing, you know, half are Just silly kids. Writing, that's right. Yeah. Yes. But, but do I believe that, that it has happened? Yes, I do believe it. It's and on does it break my fucking soul? Yes, it does. But yeah. what am I going to do? Like, I'm not a fucking robot. You're a I fucking am. human being. I'm the same way. My heart. I I got my own shit. No, I I, I got my own shit. I got my own shit. Right. I got my own shit. You're right. And that's at the end of the day what I have to tell myself. I know that I'm trying the best that I can. It's not that I don't want to because my heart is so big I want to. I just don't have the time. Like I only have some guys. Christina, and if you want to spend three hours and watch a fucking Netflix show and drink a bottle of wine with your husband, you can do that too. Stop. Yeah. Stop judging yourself, please. I'm working on it. I've come a long way because, boy, it used to eat me up a lot more. 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 Yeah. Use this serendipity. You know, if there was a corona, we're, I'm not doing tea with Gary Vee. Yeah. There's a million people trying to get on this on this yeah. show. You got on. Like, more. I'm loving it. Quick, yeah. Real quick, though. How many TikToks are you making with the cat? Um, I, I think I have a little over almost 400. 400 posts? Love you. 400 posts, right? 400 TikToks, it. yes. So we love TikTok. Super proud of you. TikTok is so fun. So we have over a million followers now on three different platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. What I'm working on, I don't know um, how much of my form you saw. So my husband's not working. I didn't see it. He's in a blue collar trade, okay? Um, Last Tuesday, we got um, orders to shut down, shelter place in place. And so he's been home. So I was like, man, you know, he's a majority income earner. Believe it or not, I don't make a million dollars a year like everyone thinks. Um, and so we're having to go back to the drawing board, which is something I've done a lot in my life because I'm going to circle back to that in a second and tell you how I started flipping in 1997. Um, oh my God, I can't wait to tell you that. Okay. So anyway, so he is home and he makes a considerable amount of money, way more than I can get with the business government grant that just came out or unemployment. I get it. I get it. Way, I'm like way more. So (laughs) I mean, we're going, we're definitely, we have a savings account that's great. We work really hard to build that up. Um, I mean, I, there's people out there that can't pay their next mortgage or water bill. So I'm not complaining at all. Um, no, but but I, again, it goes back to it being your real life. Like, right. you know, there's somebody watching right now and being like, fuck, that house looks beautiful. Look at that paint. Like, right. But but the reality is you worked your fucking face off. Right. He also worked his face yeah. off for it. Yeah, like, a, lot of, like, a lot of the time, the more you make, the more you have, the higher your bills are. So we, we won't well, cover that's, bills with what we're able to get. The bills is the key though. Yeah. Like that, that's something that I have passion for. This yeah. is when you and him have to sit down and really look at the bills yeah. and really debate bills. You have to debate yeah. bills. Like, you know, like you got a lot of, like people buy stuff. Like, by the way, you're going to flip, you can flip half your house. You probably don't, 
every human being, whether they have one little fucking two side, two paintings in their house or a lot of stuff in their house, every human being hates half the stuff that's in their house already now anyway. Yeah. That, I mean, that, and that's how I started flipping. But my idea was I was going to tell you, and I'm going to go back to the flipping, is that um, I've had to think, what can I have him do here? I mean, he's here. We have nothing but time. I just told you I have a million, over a million followers on three different platforms for Venus. I have grossly neglected her YouTube channel now for four years. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, I'm very embarrassed. Don't, that. But don't be embarrassed. I, again, don't be embarrassed. No time. It, I only you're, have you're, time. I have kids. So. What? You have children. You yep. fucking have a life. Yep. And you've built up over a million followers on three different platforms. Every single person that's watching right now is like, Jesus Christ, if I had 10,000 followers, I'd rip my yep. arm off. You're crushing it. Christine. And I co run. Oh, I love that. Crushing it. I have your book you signed, by the way. Um, I, yeah, I co run the business with him, too. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm wearing so many different hats and it's just stretched so thin that you I can't are, get so far. So, can the idea can I, was can I, go ahead. you're home now. You're home now. You have nothing but time. We have a lot of phone, whatever. Yes, I'm going to assign him to the YouTube channel. He's game for it. And I, I love that. Live that channel and hope that not only can we supplement the income he's not making right now and hopefully not have to drain our savings, but when everything goes back to normal, we'll be in a better position than we were before because that's. Yes. Be and, and by the way, do you know that Facebook? is like Facebook ad revenue is exploding. So I would also very much focus on Facebook as well. And there's, I'm in the beta of it. There's a new Facebook live ad product coming. There's just always going to be opportunities. You just have to keep looking. And, you know, so it's going back to the flipping. What about this, Christina? What about direct messaging every single cat brand on earth, cat food, cat toys, like all of them? I definitely could. That's one thing I've been blessed again because Venus is so unique looking. I haven't had a lot of trouble. Most of the, the, um, sponsored posts I do, they're incoming. I don't really look for much, Stick but with I me. could, but here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing though. Again, not having, I only have to, I have to try to find balance. I could make a whole lot more money right now. In fact, I probably could be a millionaire if I wanted to cart my cat all over the place. If I wanted to do commercials and movies and, uh, I, music video I got it. turned down last year and stuff, but I, first of all, I have my limits with her. Then I have my limits with family because I don't want to take too much time away from them. That Good. is what's more important to me, honestly, than making a million dollars with my cat. Good. So, Listen to me. Everything I've just heard, I'm so not fucking worried about you. Like your, your yeah, mindset is so on point. Like you'll sell this fucking home and live in a different home if you have to before exactly. you compromise the things that are important to you. Listen to me. Yeah. Stop beating, stop beating yourself up. You're a We're fucking wonder woman. From humble Christina, Christina, stop beating yourself up. You're a fucking superhero. <laughs> Thanks. Period. Yeah. Please. I always Every, find a way. Everybody can do more and everybody yeah. can do less. Just well, do you. And this is why I wanted to mention the flipping. I don't know how much time I have, but so last, in, last seconds. Okay. 1997. Quick. Um, I had my first son in 1997. He got very sick with RSV. He was in the hospital a couple times. I had to stop working my day job. So um, I have been an avid garage sale junkie like you forever, right? So I used to buy a lot of stuff for my son when he was born from garage sales. So I went out garage sailing, hit a garage sale. It was multifamily, had a bunch of girl clothes. I only have boys. I have three boys now. Never had the girl. <laughs> but something hit me that day that I was buying clothes off of eBay. And this is like 1997, right? Why can't I sell? So I bought everything they had for a dollar a piece. Jimboree, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, you know, Gap, all the stuff that was popular. Rich back areas. Then. I snatched it all up, put it all on eBay. Um, I got a little system going where, you know, I mean, and back then we're talking regular camera, developing the film. I remember. Image. Take out. Oh, my God. It was yes. the worst. I remember. Ready? You image take posting. Out. This is what. You see, this is why I want to punch all these kids in the face. They're like, ah, oh, it's hard. I'm like, hard. This is all you need this, now. You, right here. This is a fucking, this is no business. I know. I it's know. Fucking, I know. It's, it's so easy now. It makes me crazy. Like, it used to take me an hour. AJ, AJ you said that. A, and then what, then digital camera, AJ had to take the fucking disc out, put yeah. it in a fucking computer. It was a fucking yeah. mess. And even then, I, that was before I didn't even have a phone, no digital camera, nothing. It was all done in film in 97, and it was all dial up. And uh, you had to copy the HTML and just change the little description. Oh, yeah. But you know what, though? I'm going to tell you, though, I made between one and two thousand dollars a month back in 1997, more than replaced the job that I left. And I was home with my kid. And so and I didn't realize I was an entrepreneur till then. That was my Christina. Moment. Christina, you may be the least 
you might be the person I'm least worried about on earth. I don't even want to, I don't even want to <laughs> talk you. to you anymore. I'm moving lot. on. I love you. Go. Thank you. Love you too. See ya. Bye-bye. Love it. So good. All right. Let's see what everybody's doing here. Wine and traveling. Loves Christine as much as I did. Um, there we go. Scotty. It's, uh, Celeste. Let's get some, let's follow Celeste who's just on right now. Boom. And uh, then, uh, Tanya come on next. All right. Please, uh, everybody who's watching right now, please take a photo of this talk with Tanya and share it on Twitter with a link to Facebook, which is in my Twitter profile. And I will retweet and follow a bunch of you. Tanya, how are you? Hi, Gary. Um, I'm freaking out that I'm even talking to you right now. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're here. Um, so I'm a social media influencer slash blogger, whatever you want to call it. I've been doing this before it was even a thing. Um, and obviously this pandemic has hit everyone in so many different ways, um, which is kind of earth shattering for a lot of us. Um, I just want to know, what do you think this pandemic is going to do to social media marketing for businesses and people like me? Explode it. Because most businesses now realize they have to become digital and sell through the internet. Right. I've seen now, a lot of- now, now, there's also a looming potential recession. So right. brand, brand, brand deals may get split in half. And, and this is why I've been yelling and screaming, as you know, about like, A, save your money. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, like B, B, create other opportunities besides just brand deals. Just being an influencer is one dimensional. You got to round that out with product, services, business, things of that nature. So in the macro, Tanya, great, because more people are going to look at digital and ways to win in digital. In the micro, specifically for influencers, there could be a drying up season for brand deals, which a lot of people rely on. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of us, you know, I said in my form that I sent over that I'm at the point now in my career where brands just come to me and it's almost like one of those things you just get used to and you take, take it, it for granted. granted, not on purpose. You know, you just, it just becomes your life. It's your norm. It's what you think. Exactly. And then it kind of brought out the hustle in me again to where creating organic content because I have all this time now and reaching out to brands and pitching them. And where are you, where are you on, where are you on TikTok? I just started TikTok. <laughs> Honey, this is a big deal. This is why I'm so pumped. You have to win TikTok. It's going to be the next platform. You're going to lose it. Like, you have to go hard. You have to go back to straight humility. Nobody, quote unquote, knows you. And fucking go hard. Post on TikTok. Hit the share. Put in your Instagram story. Build that back up so your audience knows you're there. Make one main feed and be like, I'm on fucking TikTok. I'm going hard. Like, you need to go. (laughs) I know. I've been trying to go on TikTok. It's definitely a different platform. And I feel like... But you could still do you. You... You could still be you. And Instagram was a different platform to the people that were winning on Facebook pages. And Facebook pages was a different platform. It's always a different platform. Right. And the, and the way that you were like laughing at everybody for not understanding Instagram is how they're laughing at you for not understanding TikTok. You know, like. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's so true. <laughs> you have to, you have to go. And by the way, it's not, it's kids for 40 seconds. It's already much older than it was even six months ago or a year ago. I, I don't dance. I don't do that shit. I mean, put out my content, put out your content. Yeah, that's true. I just need to hustle on there. I just need to, you need to get into work. here. Yeah. You need to fucking um, get, you, you, you've got to get out of that entitled mindset because you had won in a prior game to your point where shit came easy. Right. And you need to go back to early you. Into hustle. Yeah. I mean, it's brought out so many different aspects of that hustle mode and it's, it's, it's good. It's inspired in a good way because I feel like if I don't say something positive out of what's going on, I Do mean, you understand well, how much positive there's going to be? Yeah. Stop watching the news and reading Facebook. Like this is unlimited positivity for most people. Reconnecting with old friends, right. uh, you know, spending more time with family, getting back to, you know, you're going to tighten up now. It's kind of like working out, you know, you know, all the all the brands coming to you, let you get a little flabby. Now you're going to get back and fucking get it right. <laughs> that's a good way. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, is, and by the way, it's unlikely that you would have taken TikTok seriously if this if nothing had happened. Oh, 100 percent. And then in I three and a half years, I put and, then, to the side. and when Instagram organic reach collapses in three and a half years and goes to zero, like Facebook pages, you'll stop getting deals because you can't reach anybody. Right. And then it's all happening on TikTok and you would have been like, uh oh, I know. No, that's true. I didn't even think of that, about that. All my friends are on TikTok and killing it. They're like, you need to get on it. And I'm like, I'm just uncomfortable. But I feel like the best things come out of being uncomfortable. 
in certain situations like this. Get out of high school mindset and just make. Yeah. I'm okay. comfortable at what, what? You know what the fuck you're doing? Make a right. fucking, in, make an, in, make a TikTok that looks exactly like you would do on Instagram, but then learn TikTok, the little sticker, the little colors, like play. Right. Spend, to, are you spending time consuming TikTok? Do you have a feel of the vibe or not yet? Yeah, I'm consuming it. I think I'm consuming it more way, more than I am producing. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying not, to get inspired and think of other ideas and. Stop and, overthinking it. Yeah, it's not it's not some new cooler club. And you were like the cool chick at this one club. And now there's a new club. It's not a, it's not that it's just not. You understand? Uh, that's how it, that's how it feels sometimes. I mean, no shit. That's why I'm telling you it's not into it a little bit because I have a seven month old and um, I think baby content just does good in general. People people love babies and I've been trying to put him into it. So <laughs> but. listen to me, babies, advice, random shit, get inspired and do something dorky. Just fucking live. But you yeah. better start fucking making for TikTok now. All right. I'm going to fucking right. do it. <laughs> Good. Bye, Tony. Bye, Gary. Take care. All right. Bobby Blackjack. My man, Bobby Blackjack. Good news, bro. I'm your 388th follower. Um, also, uh, a guaranteed, we're going to do a guaranteed follow on Twitter blitz right now. If you sign up for Wine Text, my dad's platform, winetext.com right now, and post the screen of you joining. I will follow you. Let's keep going. Dean. Hey, Gary. How you doing? I'm doing super well, bro. How are you? You know what? I'm doing quite peachy. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I can appreciate I help you, you uh, taking the time. How hey, do you do so- it? Real So I guess we'll jump into it. So my question for you was, um, at what point, or maybe you never do it, do you start divesting or diverging from your brand, yourself, your persona, and start focusing on content for your businesses? So something that I've noticed is that people do better in the social media marketing realm content delivery than businesses talking? Uh, they do better in engagement in be- building audiences. Don't forget it's social media. It's peer to peer people, uh, but they don't necessarily do better in business results. Okay. So for example, being very effective on LinkedIn as a B2B uh, business right now, you can annihilate revenue in comparison to an influencer who has 4 million followers. So, I would, I, I, better in the metrics that we all see, likes, followers, engagement, but not better in actual business results if you look under the hood. Okay. okay. Because brand, brands that put out organic content jabs, who then come in with a sales pitch, a right hook, if they do it extremely well, crush in business results. Um, a lot of people are really good at jabbing and are bad at right hooks. A lot of people are over right hooky and, you know, so, you know, a lot of people have a lot of followers because they're attractive, because they're funny, bec- you know, but doesn't really lead to business results, right? So there's a little bit of that dynamic, Dean, to keep in mind. Okay. Yeah, because I've been – so I originally – I so I have a full-time job uh, in sales, and then I have my own personal brand um, basically built up just around high performance and healthy living and different just motivational tips, right? I'm not trying to be a life coach or anything like that. Just, I got it. You know, you're, you're enjoying it. Yeah, I just think, you know – and do you hope, and, 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 right? and, and is there, is there a, and then there's the, and if this leads to people being aware of me of what I do professionally, that's a nice thing. Yeah, exactly. Do you, in your personal brand profile, do you link to something that shows your professional part of your life? So that's the thing. So I have a website that takes you to my own personal and then it shows some, like I have a podcast and I'm starting and I have, you know, takes you to that. But then what's I your have biggest another, profile? Huh? What's your biggest profile? Your personal brand? What's that? Uh, so that's DeanStavro.com and on Facebook. What about on social? Uh, um, so is it Facebook yeah, your number one place? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, I'm what's, your, all, what's, your, what's, what, what's your Instagram name? Uh, Dean Stavro. S-T-A-V-R-O-U. Is it at real Dean Stavro? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, you know, let's see. Oh, that's Twitter. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I was looking at. I was looking at Twitter. Yeah, I'm on there too. So I'm on all the platforms. And so on, I have, Insta- on Instagram, it's Dean Starbo, right? Yeah, yeah. 
Let me give you one second. I just want to see something. And then it goes to your website, the link, and that goes here. Sign up for a free newsletter. And what do you want to have happen with the free newsletter? So I was doing, I was going to do a newsletter and I'm, I'm, I'm actually revising it right now. I'm going to start a podcast instead and interview Understood. style podcast to talk and about. What, and, and what's the long term hope on that? Do you hope to be hired to consult businesses? So yeah, so my other businesses, so the other, the other businesses so that I have, so I, I work for a company and I do sales consulting, technical sales consulting for large scale companies. And then at the same time, in a previous life and some of them restarting is, is small business, um, technology consulting, helping business make sense of that. We also, me, me and my wife, we let started. Let me stay right there. I apologize. Okay, let me finish that thought. Go ahead. We also started a, a, a fast casual brand that we were launching here in Nashville. That's and cool. now this happens. So we're kind of pivoting into delivery. But anyway, Makes so we sense. have all this stuff going on. And is it better uh, than number, number, for me or for the business? Yes, you. And number two is the key. I want you to put out all your best advice for free about what small businesses should be thinking about from a tech standpoint. Literally, literally okay. all your best advice. Literally. Yeah. Make it feel like, hey, hey, Rick, hey, Sasha, hey, Susan, I'm going to put out content that allows you not to hire me. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, if you go from that lens, I'm going to put out such good content, so detailed in video form that people are not going to hire me you will be stunned by how many people hire you. Yeah. Okay. Got it? Yeah, I appreciate it. You got it, brother. That, that is the breakthrough. That's where nobody gets it. Yeah. That's what I do. Watch okay. what I do, not what I say. I'm giving out my best fucking advice for free. Yep. Yes, you are. And VaynerMedia is the biggest, fastest growing agency in marketing. You know what I mean? That's true. So that, got it? Got it. All right, brother. Talk to Thanks, you soon. Bye. Dean got it. I can tell Dean got it. I love that. He fucking did get it. All right. Let's see who else is in here. Signed up for Wine Text. You got it, Tanya. Thank you for doing that. Boom. There's Jennifer Thompson. Jennifer, you're going to be blown away today. $46 Pinot Noir coming to you for under 20 bucks a bottle. It's fucking crazy. Dan Jordan, what's good? Hey, good morning, Jerry. How are you? Real well. Where are you from, bro? I am from Denver, Colorado. It's a pleasure. What can I help you with? Well, first off, I just want to thank you for all you do. I found your content a few years ago, and it's really helped just set my life off and a lot of folks I know as well. So thank, thank you, you for that. Thank you. Um, of course. So my goal overall is to help people and just help people set their businesses on fire. That's what I want to do. But uh, for me to be in integrity with myself, I had to create my own business because I believe in doing what I tell people to do, right? Um, Absolutely. I'm a big fan of that. It's very much been the foundation of why I think I've been able to pop. It's because I actually did something. I didn't just start off being somebody worth listening to. I did it, and then I started talking. Keep going. Appreciate that. So I started through reselling um, of auction items and eBay drop shipping. And I also want to say that I blame and thank you for the way that I troll Facebook and Craigslist now. <laughs> that was – that's What's all your best – Dan, what's your best flip? Uh, um, a clock. I found like a, a not a not a grandfather clock, but a small clock. I got it for like thirty bucks. Sold it for one fifty so far. That's it's fucking been, go. Oh man, it's it's awesome. I love it. So thank you. Um, I'm also I was in the process of moving into Amazon wholesale and FBA, all of that. Um, but I'm also a trainer, and I developed a course for networking to teach people how to network where they're serving and not asking. Um, I recently just moved to Colorado, uprooted my entire life to do it because, again, when I tell people to go live your life, I have to do it myself first, right? So I've done that, but my resources are low. My job is gone. Um, my checks, my last couple of checks didn't come in, and I feel stuck. Um, I have the I see the opportunities. There are a ton everywhere, but I have a small amount of capital that I need the bang for the buck, essentially, right? Uh, so I'm in a place where flip, flip I'm products, so I push my class. When you feel stuck, what do you do? You you fucking fucking attack on all fronts. <laughs> you know when you feel stuck. You know sell, selling the class, 
doing the flipping, finding stuff on Facebook Marketplace. If you're super scared of Corona, mask and gloves, go and pick it up. Then take it home, take the photo, repost it, make the arbitrage on that. Like, you know, what, what a lot of Americans have never felt is running out of options. Like they've never really had their back to the corner. A lot of people got laid off that never got laid off in their lives. You know, a lot of people didn't save. A lot of people just got caught. And that's real life. Now, the good news is, look, this doesn't look like it's going to be the Great Depression or 1987 or 9-11 or, you know, or even the Great Recession. Like this does have light at the end of the tunnel. People are going to have to be really clamping down for the next three, six, nine months. And And so really this goes down to like cooking for yourself with lower cost ingredients, eating bad food, potentially even 99 cent stuff. This goes into like buying nothing, buying nothing. This goes into look at your credit card. Oh shit, I'm signed up for Hulu, Netflix and Amazon Prime. Let me fuck, you know, like this is like, you know, offense on the flipping and the course, but the, but great defense. This is time to be the 85 bears. You need to look at the fucking, like every fucking penny that comes out of your world. You need to tighten up. And even, are, are you renting right now? I am, and I've actually I've actually listened to a lot, a lot of what you did. That's how I got out here. But I used a lot of resources to get out here. And I respect that. Listen, plenty of people got caught with timing. They just bought the building. They just bought an apartment. They just started the business. You know, life has twists and turns, right? Sure. Um, the reality is, it's like you just got to bunker down for nine months here mentally. And I think. Everybody, if they just really focus on expenses, I think they, you know, even if they get kicked out of their apartment and you live in a fucking shitty place, living in a fucking, you know, shitty place for four months, like that's real talk. That's real life. Offensive defense. Just please make sure you look at every single dollar that comes out of your world and audit the fuck out of it. Fair. Can do. Appreciate it, brother. Wish you well. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for another episode of uh, Tea with Gary V. I thought we had a ton of good stuff today. I hope it brought you value. I hope you got some insights from it. Um, and, and most of all,